Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. And we're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a gigantic bins haul. Part, Part two. two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is special, okay? okay? We filled the car twice. Our power is out, so we went to the bins for like six hours. You saw the first part of the haul, which is kind of rushed and showing you some clothes. Yeah. But the haul itself was two trips combined, and it filled up our car twice. Yeah. We spent a total of $158. Yep. Total. Total. Our cost of goods, now that we've processed everything, is $0.70. Cents. <laughs> I can't. A I thing. Just, I can't believe it. Uh, and the haul <laughs> comes into three categories. One is weird stuff that we couldn't leave behind. Yep. Two is things that are worth a lot of money and definitely look at the comps. These are bolos. And the third is stuff that I bought for a film. So it was free to us, included in our total. I didn't turn in the receipt. It was just like if I used it, I used it. And it was set at a swimming pool. Yep. So there's a lot of summer stuff here, and there's a trick. If you list summer stuff in the winter or fall, you can sell it for more. Ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> so there's some things here that there are going to be some caveats. We will show you comps for every single item. Sold comps. Yep. So you not, know. Not ours. These are comps that we found. <laughs> Somebody asked, is like, are those actually your items that I wish. sold? <laughs> no. All right, let's get into it. It's a long one. Get yourself a coffee and a java sock. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm, all right. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just gonna start on the rack, probably, right? Yeah, we've got all the. You can't see it, but there's no. like piles of. All right. Piles this is piles. absolutely amazing, and I can't believe that you don't want to keep this. I do. It's just... <laughs> SpongeBob Santa Cruz shirt. So Santa Cruz is a skateboard brand that does pretty well for us, but the SpongeBob <laughs> collab in any sort of way does really well for us. Yeah. So I don't know that awesome. it will sell for a ton of money, but. It will sell. Yeah. This is really cool. Really I cool. want to keep it so it's bad. It's small. I can't believe you're not going to keep it. I know. It. I want to keep it so <laughs> bad. Uh, what's this? Leggings. Love getting leggings. I think these are Iviva. I think these are. I found these. Yes. These are Iviva, which is, that's the kids line of Lululemon. They don't make it anymore. Is that anywhere? Yeah. Cool. And, uh. And the, yeah, this is the, this is what the logo looks like. Yeah. The comps on this brand on eBay are not great, but they do do well on Poshmark. Okay. And also, this brand recently stopped producing clothes. So I think once they phase out, okay. someone's going to be missing their favorite pair of leggings. For sure. Or their kid's going to grow up and they want a new size. And I think black leggings is a good bet Okay. for 70 cents. This is, yes. this is an interesting pickup. Okay. This is two of the same thing. These are... Um, new with tags, American Airlines, uh, uniform skirts. Yes. You know, I'm, a, I'm nervous about these. I, I'm not nervous. We pay 70 cents. Right. But we just went on an American flight, American Airlines flight, and they're wearing blue skirts. Oh, did they change? That's why I was saying, like, oh, they're no. wearing blue skirts. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't know that you didn't understand what I was saying. No, I missed it completely. So we do well with airline uniforms. We have two very big airports near us and hubs of major airlines, so we yep. find a lot of it. And if it's new with tags, we pick it up because if you're on a layover, you don't have time to do laundry. Right. You just want some extras. You need an extra. So we sell them for <laughs> whatever somebody's offering. Like if we pay 70 cents and they send us a $15 offer, take it. If they send us an $18, take it. Take it. 45 take it. Yeah, I don't right. know what they're worth. Right. <laughs> You'll see the comps. All right. This is cool. This is a My Chemical Romance hoodie. This was worth less than I thought it was going to be. Really? When I comped it. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah. And I think it will sell, especially on the holiday season. Okay. If you've never heard me talk about Q4, hi, welcome. Hey, how's it going? Uh, people that don't know people well enough to get them good gifts go to eBay and type in what they know that they like. True. My Chemical Romance shirt. And this will come up, and they'll yeah. be like, that's their size. I'll get them that. I'll get that. So we try to get a lot of brand. I mean, there is the thing, get new with tags, but we also try to get a lot of branded stuff that people can just buy as gifts. Yeah. And that was a cool shirt. Right. This is a cool coat. I just bought something with this. No, okay, sorry. So the brand on this is Chelsea Campbell. Let's show them. I think I found mm -hmm. this and I put it in the card based more on style and fabric content cool. than anything else. But it's a really cool, like overcoat and it's wool, mohair, and nylon. So we love a natural fiber. Yeah. Anytime it has mohair or angora or something like that, it's worth a look up. For sure. We, again, if you didn't see our first bins haul this week, we don't get any service in our bins. Nothing. <laughs> Zero. Cannot look up a thing. No. So we have to rely on instinct a lot. And we're showing you 
over 150 things, almost 200 things. Yeah total and we bought almost 300 things total huh. so a hundred <laughs> at least of the things you're not seeing because they're going right back to goodwill it was a bad buy or there yeah. was something wrong with it and that's fine when you're 70 cents was our, was total for the stuff we kept right that's crazy and of of those 200 things 25 of them are these yeah <laughs> <laughs> we love a multi-quantity listing so this is the Come on in with starbucks this. I'm not so sure if we show this. Shirt? Yeah, okay. Yep, it's... It's a stand together. It's from 2020. And it's got the Black Lives Matter and Unity and all that Time stuff Time for change. We hear you. No justice, no peace. Speak up. Justice. Okay, cool. And these are all size 3XL. There was just... In the bin, there was just a ton of them. And yeah. they were all folded together, so they were brand new. Like, came out of a t-shirt box and just dumped into the bin. Yeah, somebody was like, well, nobody's going to buy these 3Xs. So we bought them all. We have 25 of them, <laughs> and we listed them for 30 bucks. and any offer that comes in... We'll take. We'll take it, because it's 70 cents into whatever, yep. 25 times, and we only have to list it once. Yes. Love a multi-quantity. And they're cool shirts. Yeah. Boom. Boom. That's how we do it. All right, next up. This is a pair of, wait for it, looks like Eileen Fisher, but it's not. These are CP Shades pants. It's even better. These come to really, really well. These are like linen, very thin. Just show the label because this isn't your stereotypical CP Shades yeah, this that one's... I've ever seen. Yeah, it's like, see, it's almost a monochromatic. Yeah. So we almost missed it, but we would never miss this material. These are, oh, made in the USA. Paper... Paper tag. Yeah, 100 these are linen good. hand dyed. Okay. I think they're like a hundred or something. I can't remember awesome. the comp, but they're really, really good. Excellent. So we'll give those a nice steam so they look great and we'll put them on a flat lay. Yes. If you want to see how we list things, we do it on another channel. It's linked below. We do it every single Monday through Thursday night, 7 30 to 9 30 Central. Central time. You can watch us list all of this stuff. Right. This is what is it, kids? Lily yeah. Pulitzer? Little baby dress. Yeah. All right. You I guys know the Lily Pulitzer. Yeah. Some of our thrift stores have started marking Lily Pulitzer yeah. way, way up. I think we'll get about 15 to 20 for this. And it, it probably won't sell right away because yeah. of the season. But it was 70 cents. So Very cute. Good. I pick up lots of baby clothes at the bins. I just can't resist. Like this one? Look at this. <laughs> so cute. It's a little romper. This is from Janie and Jack. We've picked up a lot from this brand. Yeah, we love this brand. It has little pockets. I'll show you the Janie and Jack tag because this one's a little different than the last one we showed you. Yep. So they can look like this or they can have the blue, light blue square. The square, yeah. yeah. Couldn't leave it. What size is that? Mm, eight. Size eight. Look how cute. It looked like Lily Poulter. It does kind of, yeah. I bet the same child wore both of those pieces. Probably. All right, next up, what is this? A swimsuit? Yes. Um, so we sell a lot of kind of like not the best swimwear during the winter if we can get it cheap because it will sell. It's much harder to sell. Shore Shapes. This is actually a pretty good brand. Is Shore it? Shapes. It's like the, it's like a counterpart to like Miracle Suit like okay. that, right? It's like a Terrible. makes you look really nice kind of bathing suit. Hide your lumps and your bumps. There you go. Uh, we always check the bottom internals to make sure there's no stains or anything but i think this will do pretty well and if we can get like 15 to 20 for any of these bathing suits they're so lightweight and so easy to list yeah. we normally pick them up we pick up more swim in the winter than we do in the summer that's true i guess it's maybe easier to find too at the bins i'm talking bins because our thrift stores don't really carry yeah. swim in the winter all right this thing this is, oh, a, this is good a lullaboo this is for carrying your baby in your shirt. In your shirt. Like a kangaroo. <laughs> right. Baby goes here. <laughs> <laughs> These are very good. The sell-through rate is incredible. <laughs> yep. If you don't know what sell-through rate, I'm going to tell you. So it's like, are they selling? When you go to the sold listings on eBay, are there more solds than are there listed? That's yes. a good thing to pick up, and this is that. Yes. You want to show them the brand? I do. So that's what the... Looks like there, yeah. and then it's the, they also have a tag on the bottom with just the logo. Oh, that's good to know. Okay. Okay. It's a good pickup. All right, these are straight out of 1992. These actually comped pretty well. <laughs> They're so cool. These are the biggest jean shorts I've ever seen in my life. Whoa. And they're starched. And they're super starched, and they are from Marité and Francois Gerbeau. 
So you remember cool. those from, the, like I said, the early 90s, man. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. These are, what size are these even? Like a Brand X Authentic Fit Blue. Whoa. Size... 46? I don't know, 46 or something? I think yeah, 46. 46. Yep. But they're meant to be worn really low on your hips, just like, you remember the 90s? <laughs> Why did somebody starch these so much? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but they're cool. I think they come to well. I did the comps for this stuff a while ago, so forgive me, but they'll all be up here. Yeah, if you're seeing we'll it. Put them all on screen. If you're seeing the comp and you're seeing it in the hall, it's worth selling to us. Right. All right, and last thing from the rack up here is this pair of American Eagle jeans. Oh yeah, I got these. Stretch. Is there a style or whatever? Yeah, these are okay. the '90s straight jeans, and they do really well. And they're a, a in, what do you call it? A specialty size. Okay. Yeah, they're like a tall or a short. They or are a, a 14 short. Yes, I yes. remember. 14 short. We love selling American Eagle in the specialty sizes because it's really hard to find them in store. So if you need a specialty size like a short, you need to go online to get it anyway. Right. So might as well get it on eBay. And this is a, the kind of jean they still carry on the website. So it's okay. really good. And hopefully we can get 20 or 30 bucks out of it. Sweet. 70 cents into these. We do two different types of sourcing. We do like high end sourcing and then we also do bin sourcing. And yeah. I think it's, for us, it's a good balance. So there's lower end things in our store, which we are getting pretty low on. So I'm glad we have all this stuff to like fill it back up. Yeah. Dan's I'm organizing. Making a little bit of room so I can get to the stack of stuff. There we go. Okay, some of the stuff's just weird, and we're just going to go for it. Go for it. This is a Grateful Dead Dancing Bears shirt. Yeah. If you find these, these are great. This is not the liquid blue tag. That mm. is the best one. Yep. This is not that, but it's still worth selling. Somebody will want this. Here's the point I wanted to make. <laughs> I'm going to list this on eBay, but this is 100% probably going to sell a Mercari or Poshmark. Yep. I'm going to start it on eBay because we start everything there, but that's not going to inform. I have a, like a $25 sold comp or something for this shirt. I will put it on Posh for like 30 and take an offer. Same thing with Macari. And a lot of the stuff you're about to see that we didn't just show you is gonna be geared toward Poshmark. Yep. I'm gonna I'm just saying it because not all platforms are the same when it comes to these kind of items. This is absolutely true. Anyway, Dancing Bears from the Grateful Dead, keep an eye out for it, especially if it says liquid blue on the tag. Yes. So Ooh. good. Okay, this is a <laughs> this is from Arizona Jean Company, but it's a Bon Jovi sweater. So these off-brand things like this, we do really well with. Yeah. Like Metallica, Bon Jovi, Poison, especially in the holidays. So we pick up all these band things. It doesn't matter the brand. Yeah. doesn't matter. And I looked, and there was no comps for this one. Okay. So when I list it, it's the Roses logo. So I'm going to be putting, like, Bed of Roses, John Bon Jovi, <laughs> all the, you know, for, like, the super fan that their grandma needs to get them a present. Right. Buy it from our store. Please. Please do. Oh, right. you found these. I did. These are some Tommy Bahama <laughs> Relax... Swim trunks. There you go. There's the front. So we picked these up like, a ton. Yeah, these have like a leaf print. If you don't know the Tommy Bahama logo, it is this Marlin right there. Yep. And this is what the tag, this is the relax line. Cool. So we have a little unwritten rule in our store for swim trunks and and jean shorts, khaki shorts, anything men's shorts related, we try to get between 15 and 25. Yep. If an offer comes in at 15 and it's a men, we're just like dancing here. If an offer comes in and it's 15 and it's men's shorts, boom, sell it. Because we can list them so quickly. Listing shorts takes us maybe two minutes. Yeah, it's really fast. So we're happy to get brands that are recognizable and that will move. Dudes just be like, dude Tommy. Don't, dude don't care. Dude was like, I got a time. What is my shorts? Tommy <laughs> Bahama. Okay, I'm gonna get these. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is a linen sleeveless top from Rachel Zoe. I got this for the movie, so I wouldn't have normally picked up this brand or this top, but it is linen. It's got some things going for it. Yeah. It has these cute little wooden buttons that go all the way down. They look to be a little stretched out, so. A little bit. It's got the blue and white. I might wash this. Stripe thing happening. Nautical, Coastal Grandma, all that stuff. And there was a pretty good comp, I think for 25 or 30. All right. listed, it's decent. here. Decent? Yeah, decent. More swim trunks? No, these are baggy, baby. Uh oh, Patagonia baggies, new without tag. Bring in that logo. These are the barely baggies or something. I don't know if these are the barely. No, or they, the they ones. I definitely comped these them. Are barely, okay. They are barely baggy. Oh, they are embroidered. Oh, they didn't have, even they see some, that. Some branding there. Uh, I don't think that's going to matter at all. 
Nah, these shorts sell so quickly for yeah. us. Women's medium, perfect. There you go. Patagonia is hit or miss for us, but these baggies do well. Yes. More blue and white Look, stripe. can you tell? <laughs> so I had to do a nautical theme at a pool. Can you tell? Right. But I got this all at one trip to the bins. All in the girl size. All of this. It's pretty sweet. So I was like, I'm going to list it. I'm going to comp this and list it. We're going to see what happens. All right. Just go real quick through these. We're going through. First one is from Everlane. V-neck. There you go. These Everlane shirts. Everlane I mean, Everlane's a great brand. Super simple block letter. Yeah, logo. it's a great brand, but and it is sustainable, which is why I like to pick it up. Probably fifteen bucks for this, but we're closing that that loop. And if I'm have to buy this stuff anyway, might I get Everlane? Yeah. So sustainable brand. Yeah. This what is this? N slash Nicholas. I didn't is know this how brand. To say that? Or is it just Nicholas? I don't know. I put it in like that, and it came okay. up with like fifty dollar comps. Okay. So I was really excited about it, and it was made in Italy. So I'm. I've never seen that label, but I haven't either. I would have definitely looked it up. So cool. when I'm shopping for movies, wait, we have a lot of new people. Hi. Uh, I'm a costume designer for movies, and when I'm shopping for movies, or com this was actually for a commercial, um, I get good brands so that I can resell it. Yeah. Why wouldn't you? Yeah. So I, <laughs> I found a lot of nautical stuff that was in, you know, like Fate of Glory or something like that. Like that, I didn't pick that up. I only picked up stuff that I thought I could resell. So that I can make money on the other end of yes. things. Like these white J. Crew shorts. She actually wore these in the commercial. Hey! There you go. And this is just regular J. Crew, it's not J. Crew Factory. And how you can tell is if it was factory, it would have two diamonds underneath the J. Crew name. I would think if I didn't do the commercial in the pool, that we wouldn't have picked up this much summer stuff. Yeah, I don't think so. Out of season. But I'm thinking that maybe it was a good idea. Yeah. This is good. This is good. This was a surprisingly good pickup. I just <laughs> saw this sitting in the bin. It's a Saint Laurent dust bag. I think it was twenty five dollars. But this is this is the new the new logo, current Sans logo. Sans Eve's. Sans Eve, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, this kind of high end luxury like dust bag and stuff will sell. Empty boxes, people yeah. buy all. I mean, it's okay. And I mean, something this small and light at the bins is basically free. Yeah. So. More swim. More swim. This is new with tags. No, that's a Goodwill tag, boo. Oh, it's a Goodwill tag. Sorry. This is, uh, uh, what is it called? Cup sheet? Uh, no, 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 no. no, no. I know. Hold on. I know this. But it has this macrame back. This swimsuit has a very, really high sell through rate. Kona Sol. Kona, Kona Del Sol. Del Sol? No, just Kona Sol. There's no Dell. No Dell. <laughs> Sam's Dell. <laughs> anyway, this is a really, you know, classic bathing suit. And a lot of solds for this exact style. So very cool. Very happy cool. Happy that she get twenty bucks out of it or so. Okay. Yes. She did not wear this in the pool. Nope. We went with a black option. All After right. all this. <laughs> this is a new with tags Zara Kids metallic skirt. Okay, bring it in for the label. I wear a lot of this brand. You guys know that, but also this brand does super well on Poshmark. And, thank you, there's mm -hmm. a Zara Kids Facebook group where this will do well. I will list it on eBay, but I don't expect it to sell there. Okay. Especially with the holidays coming up and the metallic and the new tags. It's got a lot going for it. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't leave this behind. This oh. is one of those weird things. Yeah. So this is like one of those nylon backpacks, but it's got a map of the London Underground on it. It's cool. And it's it's a little bit older. It's lacking some of the new lines, and that's cool. Oh, think, is it really? Yeah. I think somebody will buy this for like 20 bucks as a gift. For sure. And it's new with tags. New with tags. It's like official underground merch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love that the subway in London has merch. It's not the subway. It's the underground. Oh, the tube. Oh, God, you don't even know. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a long sleeve North Face Henley shirt. No. No. Fashion education. This is a raglan shirt. Raglan. I always get those two terms mixed up. Let's teach. So the Henley version of this would have a little opening here with some buttons, like right. two or three little buttons. Yes. This is a raglan or a baseball shirt. Baseball tee. shirt. Mm -hmm. Right. And the way you can tell is how the sleeves are attached. Exactly. There's no arms eye here. The sleeve right. goes up right into the collar. Yep. 
and arms eye was like the shirt I I'm wearing has a a sleeve here like right. a, a separate piece yes and this is cut on the bias like that mm -hmm. and it's got this cool logo and everything on the back this was for the film shoot. It was a preppy guy and a nautical girl. <laughs> and uh, so I got North Face and they said it could be branded. We didn't end up using this piece, but I think maybe we could get 20 bucks for it. Cool. We used to remember when North Face, when we first started reselling, was like the oh brand. Oh my God. Yeah, it's not it anymore. All right. This is from Sparrow and this looks like an anthropology brand. It sure is. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I love this mustard color cable knit yep. open front cardigan. Mm -hmm. Some people wanted some keywords videos and the best way to learn about keywords is to watch these bins hauls because I will shout them out. You will. I am. I will. I'll do that for you. All right. This is another pair of board shorts. These are from Rip Curl. I'm telling you guys in the winter, it doesn't matter. The brand does not matter. These sold, sold for 25, these exact shorts. Awesome. So list them in two minutes, get 25 out of your 70 cents. We'll take it. So, and it's all first class. Like, yeah. People go on vacations. Quick to list, quick to ship, cheap to ship. What is this? Los and, Angeles Atelier. And other stories. And other stories. Yep. This is a little peasant top if you want to show them the label. Sure and is. other stories used to be really, really a great resale brand. It's kind of backed off recently, but this style top is great for summer. I would call this a peasant top. Okay. And I, I checked it for stains and everything looks okay. Looks okay to me. It's hard to buy white stuff at the bins. That's true. All right. I it, love this oh. piece. You're lucky I didn't keep it. Right. This is extra small uh, J. Jill shirt dress. This is 100% a shirt dress. Let me show you a couple of things. Okay. So it's a shirt dress because it buttons all the way down if you have a dress that buttons here and then it goes into a skirt without buttons on this part yep. it's called a shirt waist dress oh. this is a shirt dress because it's one big shirt one big shirt <laughs> shirt dresses do amazing all year round people love it because you look put together but a material like this is a jersey soft. it's soft it feels like a t-shirt <laughs> it does this is called a four-way stretch jersey knit Ooh. And it is very stretchy. It feels almost like a bathing suit. Kind of, yeah. And it has pockets. What? So, I can't believe you're not going to try to keep this thing. I know. <laughs> this is great for travel because unlike, I mean, it's pretty wrinkly now, but it does resist wrinkles pretty well. And you could dress this up or down. Good pickup. We don't always pick up J. Joe, but when it's like a classic like that. Yeah, or the linen stuff usually does pretty well. The linen. Decent. If, if I could find a shirt dress, I will always look it up. They're really, really good sellers. Bam. I wanted to keep this too. The comps are good. Yeah. Metallica's having a moment right now because of Stranger Things. Uh, is that what it is? That's it, what it is. This is the brand Bravado. It doesn't matter. Yeah. This is a cropped Metallica tee. Yeah, you have to get this. <laughs> like the Bon Jovi thing. It doesn't the brand doesn't matter with these kind of things. And I know they sell it at Target and I know they sell it at Walmart. I get it. But it doesn't matter because grandma does not care. Right. She wants to get you a present you will like. Yes. <laughs> Lily. This is Lily Pulitzer, without a doubt. This is the scuba small. to Cuba pattern. There you go. You know how I know that? Did you Google lens it? I Google lens it. Yes. If you get the Google app on your phone, you can click the camera, look at the pattern, take a picture, and it will bring up similar images, and they'll yes. tell you. Right. Scuba Lily Pulitzer, to Cuba. Yeah, they, the patterns all have specific names, right? And if you can figure that out, that'll help you sell your item. More yeah. board shorts. More board shorts. These are from OP. OP is Walmart right now, <laughs> I think. Okay. But the sole comps was like 16 or $14. I was like, I'm going to list them. something that'll flip for sure, might as well. And again, okay. these will be, I mean, four pictures, front, back, the tags, and you're done. Done. Dudes don't care. Dudes don't care. That, we need that t-shirt. <laughs> Hashtag dudes don't care. We say it all the time. <laughs> the buying habits of dudes are so different than women. And yeah. I think a lot of us resellers are women. Shout out to the women watching. And we think that men shop the same way we do. And as people on the live chat tell me all the time, they don't. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> They're like, literally, this is what they do. This is what you would do. Oh, I got a hole in my board shorts. What I... OP medium. 
All right, I'll get those. Basically. They don't, <laughs> I'm not saying that they're dumb or anything, and Dan's a high fashion men's person. He does have his moments. But, like, as far as a basic goes, yeah. right? Yeah. You wouldn't be like... Unless you were a surfer or something. If you right. just needed a board short in December. Yeah, and I didn't care what it looked like. Right. Or what, yeah, for sure. You would go to your closet and be like, these ones fit this way. Yeah, fine. exactly. All right, these are some stretchy jeans in a size 13, 31 from Judy Blue. Love this brand. Never heard of it. It's similar to Democracy in its demand and its price point. Okay. These, I think we can get like 40 for these, hopefully. Nice. 35 to 40. What did the Goodwill want for them? The Goodwill had them... Eight sixty nine. Yeah, see, I wouldn't pay eight sixty nine, but I'll pay seventy cents for it all day long. <laughs> right? I've never seen these Goodwill tags. I wonder where this stuff came from. Yeah, it was some kind of Goodwill, not in the immediate area. All right, this is extra small from Madewell. Oh, I wanted to keep this one too. Shocker. I tried it on. <laughs> I got it for the movie. Okay, every you guys know the Madewell tag. There you go. Yep. And I would call this a chambray shirt. Okay. And boxy fit ties at the shoulders cute 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 little basic mm. i would put something inevitably perfect for your capsule wardrobe all right here's another boxy one <laughs> it is a boxy one but this is from tech also made well texture and thread this is a, like a diffusion line a or diffusion something diffusion line yeah i love the texture and thread brand for me well they also do a brand called point sir that might be j crew i don't know it's all the same yeah uh, so always look them up. I think this little basic will do well for people like me that like texture and thread. They're cut a little bit shorter, I find. Okay. And they fit petite better. Like, you can see that was short. Yeah. And it's your favorite color. I know. I really <laughs> wanted to keep both of those shirts. THML. It's on upside down. Why is it on upside down? I don't know. So this is a boutique brand. This is also a chambray. This is a wrap front shirt. There you go. And we would also call this mixed media because on the back it has a different fabric. Mm -hmm. I would call it high low because the front is shorter than the back. Here's the upside down tag for you guys. There you go. I think this brand does well for us. And I know that people are like, I don't buy boutique brands. Well, I do. <laughs> and the comps on this were good. It was selling. So, I mean, that's really, that should be your determining factor. Yeah. Is it, it selling? It was still on the THML, or wherever they sell, some boutique website. It was yeah. still for sale. Okay. So, I don't think it'll sell right away because of the season, but hopefully it's cute. All right, this is another pair of J. Crew shorts. There you go. Size two. Size two in this... Let's show them the tag in the leg. J. Crew has a style number. Okay. And uh, a season. So it Yeah. It gives you all the information. It's really quick to list J. Crew, which is why I picked this stuff up. So um, it'll usually have a little tag like this attached underneath the Come care on tag. Closer. So it says style and I type that into Google, H five eight oh nine, and it brought exactly the sh the shorts and I can see this is from summer twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. So they're pretty new. Yep. Yeah. Which means they probably haven't been washed a ton. It's just a lot of good things going for those shorts. Plus, I got them for the shoot. Yep. I got that top to go with them. This one? Yeah. Okay. It's cute. Oh, gosh, you're out of focus. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sorry, friends. I'm on camera duty. Okay, there you Look go. Look at this. This is made well, and this is an embroidered boho peasant top. Mm -hmm. Okay. I found a bin of all this extra small made well stuff, and I was here for it. Yeah, I would probably maybe, you know, Boho Southwestern. It's got a little bit of vibes going. Dude shorts, 15 bucks. Dude shorts for 15 bucks. No need to show any of these brands. You can just go through them. These are... New with tags, Republica Industries. No idea. No, Replica. Replica Industry. But they're dudes uh, khaki shorts and they were sold. So here we are. There you go. List them, sell them, get them out of here. 15 to 20. Perfect. Same with these. These actually had sold comps. I was so these shocked. These are the Linden short from Goodfellow. Goodfellow's Target. from Target. Yeah, man. And they have little polka dots on it, and some guy needs more of the shorts that he loves that fit him in the middle of winter where he can't buy them at Target. That's exactly right. Because you know, everybody knows that one guy who wears <laughs> shorts year-round. Oh, wait. There's many guys like that. <laughs> what are these? These oh. are anthro pants. Of course they are with the... Embroidery on the side of the yeah. legs. Anthropology pull on pants. They're from the brand These Anthro. The green, the green dot. Green dot. There you go. 
size extra small. Love these pull on pants from Anthro always do really well for us. And I have a stock photo for that. They look cute. Permanently behind the camera now. Yeah, I'm just taking a break. <laughs> we were kind of dancing, so it's good. All right, what is this? This is a J. Crew stretch PK polo shirt. Okay, story. Story time. I just got this for the the photo shoot or mm -hmm. the commercial, and I was like, eh. mm -hmm. and as I was going through the stack, I was like, I'll look it up. Do these do well? It was like twenty five dollars or something. Okay. For like just a gray polo shirt from J. Crew, I was like. Is Whoa. it because it's the stretch? I don't or? know, but it's a slim fit stretch PK. I put all of that in, and yeah. the exact comp came up, and there were a lot of solds. Well, there you go. So I was like, hey, hey. let's try people, it. People like their J. Crew polos, apparently. So, I mean, the the idea is that we went through everything, and there's a whole bag. I'm going to show you at the end of stuff we did not list. Yeah. And if that J. Crew polo had no solds, it would not have gotten listed. Okay, but it's going to. Columbia women's khaki. Is this a skirt? Yeah. Yep, skirt. So like this a is a utility cargo skirt. Cargo utility skirt. Exactly right. Because it has cargo pockets, and I use that in the listing as well. And as we're going through and getting these comps, I'm also simultaneously making drafts. So I take a screenshot of the comp, and then I said I go to each listing and go sell similar and fill in the size and the price. And now we have a draft bank ready to go. Ready to go. I'm not sure about this one. Yeah, I'm I couldn't not, find I it wasn't exact. Either, but whatever. This is a reversible fleece lined. Uh, vest zipper vest from cisco systems which is a networking company so this is some corporate swag it says celebrating 20 years of innovation december 2004 but it's so i don't know new. if this is this has to be in yeah it still has the tags on it yeah so, so i got it for the shoot because i was going to use the gray side that's not embroidered but we didn't end up using it and then i was like well let's it's a good piece yeah uh -huh. And somebody either works for Cisco or somebody's not going to care about the corporate branding. Right. We'll just try it out. Yeah. All the baby blankets. Okay. Whoa. I listed these. These are from a brand called Aiden and Anias. And it, I pick these up at the bins every single time I see them. A little... Some schmutz? I don't think so. I think no? it's the giraffe shining through. Okay. I've really, really looked over these. But this one is a different brand. This one is Adore Amour. Oh, this one is, yeah. Adore Amour, which is actually exactly, it feels exactly the same. There you go. It looks exactly like Aiden and Anais, though. Okay. Like the material. So, yeah, it's got little giraffes. And little baby birds. <laughs> so, these are called muslin swaddle blankets <clears throat> or something. And normally we sell them because the kid will lose like their favorite one. Yeah. They're not expensive at the store, but finding the pattern you want, normally we get about 15 for these. So this one is the Aiden and Anais. It has little elephants on it. There you go. So if you do grab these, find them cheap, and then take a really close-up picture. Like, so there's, like, different elephants on this. There's, so like... definitely has a couple of stains. Yeah, I didn't look at that one as yeah. close. So, um, can I see that real quick? Yeah. So, like... Oh, yeah, this one does have stain. But, like, see how this elephant looks? Yeah, this one does, too. I'll soak these. Yep. Um, there's, like, a million with elephants, but they want to have this elephant. So make sure maybe the cover photo has the graphic really big. Oh, there's a difference? Like yeah, the sitting, there was, the like, all different kinds of elephants. And that one's, like, a cartoon elephant versus, like, a... Yeah, so this is the same brand. The tag looks a little different. So I don't know if the tag we just showed you is older or newer. But this is, this the... is the one I always see. Yep. Yeah. And this one also has elephants, but See? different. This one has blue elephant squirting water out of his trunk. <laughs> so put all of those keywords because parents are looking for these as replacements. Yeah. And then this is just a blue and gray striped one. Looking for the tag. There we go. Yeah. I'm. We've probably sold 20 of these, and yeah. I have like 20 more to soak. I buy them all the time. It's just nice to have around and also, okay, here we go. Also what I was about to say is not letting things go into the garbage. Okay, I gotta get up and show you guys. Yeah, please said, do. Okay, oh my God. So one of the most <laughs> overlooked, excuse me. Excuse me. Places in the bins is the linen section. The bin with the bedding and the towels and the sheets. I am like, a moth to a flame to that bin and I buy everything in it and you're gonna see why today linens bins 
actually the sheets we just listed sold today. Well, <laughs> oh my so God. this is a piece of fabric and it is used to make bibs and these so you are, get these bibs these are from 1994 it has little Looney instructions Tunes lovables how cute so i found some comps for these they are selling and they didn't go to the dumpster yes. we are going to give these new life and someone's going to love this piece of fabric yep look at this baby daddy duck <laughs> <laughs> i can't have little babies oh my god Next, more fabric out of the linens bin that I oh. could not leave behind. 1994 Power Rangers. What? So this this fabric, in the 94 era, they had these like pre-made, just sew around and stuff it. These are pillows. Oh, so you I would see. just cut it here, sew it, stuff it, and then you have two pillows. Perfect. There are also sold comps for this. Am I showing it upside No, it's not upside down. Okay. The original Power Ranger stuff does well. Yeah. Cool. So we'll just, I mean, I found a comp for it. So we'll just copy it and list it and sell it quickly. It is so lightweight. Didn't go to the dumpster. I found this one. When fabric goes, to, I can't talk about it right now. Oh. This did have a sole comp. Check that out. John Deere uh, pillowcase. Yep. John Deere stuff is highly collectible, especially the older stuff. Um, I think this was 15 or something. There was a Yeah, this is the logo. This is the landing deer logo. Depending on whether the deer is landing really? or taking off, that tells you the age of it. What? Yeah. I can't remember if the landing one is the really old one or not. I have no idea. Yep. Well, people have asked before, how do you sell single pillowcases? We actually just sold a single pillowcase today. <laughs> so I don't know whether people are like, oh, one got ruined of my set. Or like, oh, I had this as a kid and they want to make a pillow as a gift. I don't know. Yeah. We sell single pillowcases, we nostalgic do. ones, quite a bit. Yeah. Or maybe like it was somebody's favorite and they took it in the on a trip, yeah. you know, in the car and it got lost or ruined. Who knows? We always like to create stories <laughs> about buyers. Wow. I couldn't leave this. So is, this, what is this? Just this a, is a 1970s or a sheet? floral bed sheet, flat, flat sheet. Flat sheet. Okay. I couldn't find the rest of the pieces. Probably I will. I see this pattern a lot. Yeah. But what people do is use this as fabric. Oh, okay. Uh, so I will never let this go. And so I just listed it and I found an exact comp. Did you really? Mm -hmm. Wow. And I just put in 1970s floral orange yellow bed sheet and it came right up. So I'm going to sell similar from that and we're going to move it on to a new home. Okay. We'll measure it and see what size it is. Awesome. Love selling flat sheets because they can be multi-purpose. This thing's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is from, I don't even know. I, the brand doesn't matter. Oh, Cel yeah, I remember this. Yeah, Celestial yeah, yeah. is really, really in right Whoa. now. Because remember from the 90s, y'all, you you remember. Wow. This is a, a wall hanging. It's really cheap. It's polyester made in China. Yeah. But it's cool. It is cool. This will probably sell on Poshmark, and we will take a picture of it outside somehow because, wow. Because you have to have the, uh -huh, the scale. Yeah. Yeah, this definitely has, like, holes in the corners. From where someone from hung where it somebody on the wall. pinned it to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I couldn't leave it. Come on. Come on. The big bolos are coming up, you guys. I'm really excited to show you. Yeah. We have like three or four things worth over a hundred. That you wouldn't expect. Super surprising. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a super 80s. I had to have it. Bugle Boy shirt. Look at this thing. It screams 1980, what, three? Four? In, uh, it's like Saved by the Bell more. <laughs> okay, 85 or 6. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Bugle Boy. It is a, a child size. Extra large. Large. Yeah. 16 to 18. But like, that would be a modern extra large. So Probably, 16 to 18 yes. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, so the sole comps are in this kind of thing are mixed. So I need to sell this with my keywords and the title. Yeah. I think this would be perfect in some sort of... 80s remake yeah, show I'm trying to sell this to Netflix or Amazon nice. and I'm going to do really hard in my title to get people to notice it this is more swim this is a pair of cup she new with tags swim bottoms oh I will always Size large Got this leaf print there you go and if they had a white top or a black top or whatever you can wear you know pair it together mm -hmm. there you go That was not for the movie, and I would just pick up new tag swim anytime we see it. These are gonna sell on Posh. 
What are these? They're Earthbound Trading Company bell bottoms. They are Earthbound Trading Company <laughs> bell bottoms. <laughs> and they are tie dye. This there brand does well for us. Uh, it's not particularly expensive, but depending on the style, it's, look how cool those are. I really wanted to keep them. I think they're too long. Oh, Gosh. why? Why always too long? For right now, though, those are gonna do well. Uh, even if they go for twenty, they're such a cool style. I wanted to to keep them in the. What? I don't know if it's part of the pattern or if that's an issue. No, it looks like part of the pattern. Okay. Um, this is a pair of very small Hudson jeans. Low rise. Low rise. Factory distressed. Um, these are like what? Size twenty seven or something. Yeah, they're twenty seven. Yep, tw yeah, and they they have a flare leg on them. This is all trendy right now, so we gonna sell them. And uh, they do not have the flap pockets, which I think is good for your cell phone purposes. Right. Okay. They, they had sold comps though. Here Sweet. we go. Trying them out again. Jeans we can list super fast. Yeah. This is women's. Is it? Mhm. Mm Lucky Brand has a style number. Excellent. This is extra large Lucky Brand. There you go. So the keywords I use to describe this. Let me zip this up so you can kind of see what this thing looks like. This is an unstructured jacket. Uh, it's army green, it's utility, it has a lot of pockets once Dan shows it to you. And I'm definitely gonna use the term shacket, which is a sh sh sweater, shirt, shirt jacket right. combo. There you go. And that's exactly what this is. Yep. Super on trend right now. Yeah, a little bit of a... Oh, we got something on the back. On the back there. <laughs> Thrashed. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of spots on the front, too. I think we'll be okay there. We sell flood stuff all the time. All right, and then that stuff in the thing. We're ready What's for the up? good stuff. The oh. fabric. The fabric. Here, we'll get... More stuff from the linens. Oh, we'll get the three stacks of fabric that I know for sure are good. Okay. Boom. You guys. <laughs> I bought this because it felt really nice. It, it felt like men's suiting fabric. It did. It does. It does. But what it actually is, is it is uh, Yvonne, or I, I, I think it's Yvonne pronounced, Simonis. Uh, it is pool table felt. And this stuff is expensive. If you've ever had to refelt a pool table, you know. Uh, this is really good quality. Here's the the name brand of this stuff it's amazing there and no one picked it up nope um and so what happened was i got all these home and I, I measured everything this one actually still had a sticker on it right here this is supposed to be for an eight foot pool table and then I, like i said i did some research and i found that this stuff comes in two different widths 66 and 78 inches um this has all been uh, miscut, if that's the, uh, even though it was cut incorrectly. There we go. Yeah. Um, all these pieces are a little bit too short for the recommended size that you need for like this eight foot table is supposed to be 66 by 100 and it's like 66 by 98 and mm. 99 in most places. And there's, um, there's a bit of fabric missing for the rails. So the way I listed this is, uh, listed this for enough fabric to do a seven foot table. You just have to get it cut to size. Sure. So, and seven foot table cloth stuff was selling for like 200, 220 bucks. Remember we paid 157 total for everything <laughs> you've seen in two days worth of holes. So. One sale of that will pay for every single thing we got. Yeah, this is the higher end stuff. This is the 860 fabric. And this for a seven foot table is like 250 bucks. That's great. So. Know your fabrics. I'm gonna, we're trying to do fabric shorts. This yeah. is on our docket. Yeah. Cause you guys know I love fabric. Okay, we also don't leave the bins without character hats. We pick up every single one we find ever. I saw this. This <laughs> is a, it's a little bent, but it's from Disney Parks. And it is the red car trolley conductor hat. It's worth $200. It's worth about 200 bucks. 
We're gonna try to like mold it back into shape. Yes, so I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna try to build or fashion some sort of a stretching mold and heat gun this stuff to get it back into shape, but that's, that's a really good one. That's worth me trying to trying to fix. Okay. Okay. Now I'm weird. <laughs> I know you guys aren't surprised. But anytime there's like little handmade toys at the bins, I buy them. So and Dan's one... always like rolling his eyes at me, <laughs> rightly so, because it's weird stuff. I'm telling you, weird. Look at these little guys. And his like legs were broken off and I was like, oh, I'll glue him back together. Like I love him. And then so there's this guy. And then there was this guy. Come in with that guy. I knew these were German. Dan's German. Yeah. I've been to Germany. I knew these were German. Yep. A hundred percent. I was like, I have to have him. And again, also, the legs do come off. But I was digging around in the bin for the legs. Yeah. I was like, there's got to be more legs. And then the third one is this guy right here. His walking stick. It's it's, still it just there. comes out, but it was it was there in the bin. And again, also, the legs. There you go. So, so. <laughs> when you flip them over... And you look. Yes, they all have a sticker like this. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. You want to tell the people what these are? These are incense burners. So you put the incense cone right here. What? And then you close it and the smoke comes out of his mouth. Oh my God, I can't even take it. <laughs> and these are rare. I looked for these exact three and I can't find them anywhere. I think these are worth like somewhere between 50 and 100 each. Yes. That's why we go to the bins. That's just, why we go to the bins. You just never, <laughs> you just never know. You don't, you really don't. I mean, sometimes we get pingers and we throw them back and whatever, but like then you can find this stuff that's worth $100. Okay, don't do that. People get scared of that. Aww. This is a little <laughs> box with a clown in it it's that like I a bought. Jack in the box. I can't figure out if it's worth anything, right? but shield your eyes. Ah. <laughs> But it's not a scary clown. It's like a smiling, warning. Happy, smiling, happy clown. Clown warning. <laughs> it looks like you. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Get back in there. So All we right. do have more of the pool table fabric. We bought about six or seven bundles yeah. of it. Those three are the only ones that are big enough that can be used for a full seven foot table. Mm -hmm. The other ones are smaller. And I don't know if we'll be able to sell those. I mean, I might still list them for, ra for rails, rails or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah. So, overall, we have never found a cheaper way to source than the bins. That's true, yeah. Uh, our bins is $1.49 <laughs> a pound once you get over 25 pounds, I yeah. think. And shoes are two ninety nine a pair. We don't largely pick up shoes there because the quality is not good. Mm-mm. We pick up a ton of clothes, and hard goods are only 49 cents a pound. That's ridiculous. <sighs> anyway, mm -hmm. if you've never been to the Goodwill bins, the Goodwill, Goodwill outlet, we highly suggest you either take a road trip or find one in your town, because even in the picked-over bins, there is so much money to be had. I agree with that, yeah. We would never buy a lot of this stuff at the regular thrift, because nope. there's not enough, we call it room, there's not enough room to flip it, there's not enough room for a profit and yep. we want to make like 20 bucks profit on most of the stuff that we sell mm -hmm. minimum it's worth our time to list it if we can make a 20 dollar bill on the flip side some of this is, is like these baby blankets are not right we we sell them for 10 to 15 but they're very very quick to list yeah and the conversion rate's pretty high yeah so we just have tons of them and we just flip them the starbucks t-shirts we might have those for three years but we only list one thing yep and we keep selling them. The pool table fabric, we just list it and wait for the right buyer. Mm -hmm. The pool Between the pool table fabric and the weight of the Starbucks shirts, the 25 shirts we bought, that helped us get to the lower rate to lower the cost of goods for these, the weight yeah. of that stuff. Yeah. But it's going to be a huge return, too. You don't want to buy heavy things just to buy them to get to the lower rate because then you can't sell them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see people like add like something really heavy at the end to yeah. get the lower, but then they can't sell the heavy thing. Right. Like, like, I got something very heavy, but we should be able to sell it. What'd you get? That pump. Where did oh, it? we didn't show the pump. No. We have one more. <laughs> Bonus, $100 thing. <laughs> I saw this thing sitting, and I was like, all right, I got to look this up. This is a Taco Zero Zero Series mm, cartridge tacos. circulator. And I was like, what? I'm The kind of person that I am, when I see something like this sitting in the bin, I'm going to stop and look it up. 
Because <laughs> this looks specialized. It looks mechanical. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I stop and look this stuff up. And I'm glad I did because it's worth about 100 bucks. There you go. <laughs> and it was heavy. And most people don't want heavy things. Right. But when you're paying 49 cents a pound, what was that, like two bucks? Probably. How much away? Seven pounds. Oh, so it's a little more. Three fifty. Three fifty. <laughs> Let me make sure. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks. Please leave a comment below if you found this helpful. We try to include comps for you to make it worth your while watching. Yeah. If you learned something new, give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out in the algorithm. We're very happy you're here. Thank you very much. Thanks for hanging, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.